Hey everyone, Andrew Chelman here with MachineSkills.com. As usual, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, stay tuned on our website so you don't miss any free machine tutorials. Okay, so in this video I want to cover how to add effects using the hardware. Before I get into that, I'm just going to give a general overview of the project that I'm working on. So here in Group A, I have some EP samples loaded up. And then on group B, I have some drums. And then on group C, I have some bass. Okay, and my patterns are sounding like this. So the first thing I want to do is work with my drum groups. I'm going to go over here and mute my other two groups. Now my drums are sounding sounding all right, but I want to add an effect on the snare. So what I'm going to do here is just select my snare drum. Now this pad is selected, I can start adding effects onto it. So once we have our, uh, our pad selected, make sure we head to our sound level on those three tabs at the top. This is going to allow us to only affect the sound that we want instead of the whole group or even the whole master bus. Now that I have that selected, I need to choose a new slot in the effects chain. So the first slot is always occupied by the sampler if you have any samples loaded up. So if I overwrite the sampler, um, you won't actually hear any sound, so we don't want that. I'm going to select a new slot. Now that I have an empty one, you can see it's empty by, uh, by the fact that it says none. I'm going to go ahead and load up a new effect. So to do that, I'm going to press the shift button down here and then enter into the modules browse menu. And this is pretty similar to the browse menu if you're familiar with that. You have a, a couple options with the knob here. Then the list on the right screen is updated based on what you choose. So I'm going to stick with the internal effects in machine. You also have options for... Um, NI effects, and then external effects, so those will be any VSTs that you have uh, synced with machine. But for now I'm just going to work with the internal effects, scroll right down here, and choose Transient Master. I'm just going to load that up, and then exit the modules browse by pressing browse, and I will have my options for the Transient Master here. So for now I'm just going to increase the attack a little bit. Maybe limit the sustain. That just adds a little bit of uh, intensity, a little attack to that snare drum. If at any time you want to hear what it sounds like without the effect loaded, this will be helpful if you're playing it back. You can press the shift button down here and then hit bypass at the top. So I'll do that now. And like that, we have a effect loaded up just on our snare and we're good to go. So maybe I'll unmute my other groups. Uh, with that set, I want to work with my sample group here. So heading over to group A, if I mute my drums and my bass, there's a really high-pitched shaker in the background, so I want to add an EQ on top of that, maybe uh, limit some of those harsh high frequencies. So to do that, um, we're going to select the group level here. Makes sense because instead of affecting just one of the pads, we'll affect all of them in the group. With well, that selected, we can choose an empty effects chain. So uh, I have this Waves S1 Stereo Imager loaded in my first effect. So I'm just going to uh, scroll over so I have an empty slot and I can, I can load the EQ into that slot. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to press Shift, then Browse, then scroll down here and find EQ. Now I'm going to play this back and then uh, change some of the parameters here to get the sound that I want. And like again, like I said previously, it's helpful to use that bypass function to uh, see what you're actually sounding like. So with that um, all affected like that, I can unmute these. There we go, we have some of those high frequencies a little bit cut out. If at any time you don't like what the effect's sounding like, you can easily remove it. Just press the shift button and then hit remove. And 
And just like that, you are back to how it sounded without the effect. Now you can also add effects on the master bus. To do that, just select the master level up there, and then perform the same procedure by going shift, browse, then selecting any effect that you want. The way I'm actually recording in this video is with an effect on the master bus. I'm actually using guitar rig, um, so if I add any effects later, you won't actually be able to hear them. So I won't actually do it, but you get the idea of how to go through the process. It just follows the same procedure as for the group and the sound levels. So this is a little bit of a quick video, but that's all I really wanted to cover for now. That's a very useful feature that allows you to really have some great control over the sonic character of your projects. And to me, effects are an integral part of any project that you're working on, so it's nice to be able to add them, remove them, and change them around as you wish. As always, if you have any questions, just leave them below. I'll be checking and getting back to you as soon as possible. And um, any future video tutorial ideas, I'll be happy to uh, take those into account when I work on the next video. Thanks for watching.